Like all little girls, my dad was the light of my world. He was with me every second of the day, and when I woke up, we ate breakfast together and ate our cereal over some quality morning television like Mr. Rogers or Sesame Street. And every night when he would come home from work, I would be there waiting at the window, waiting to jump into his arms, and he would always be there to catch me. My dad was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer when he was 44 years old, and for a guy that loved life so much, this came as a devastating surprise to everyone who he knew. My dad was awesome. He was the greatest guitar player I've ever known, and I don't remember ever seeing him without a guitar in hand. His joyful heart was evident by the amount of jokes he would crack, and his jokes would usually get him in trouble, which I'm pretty sure is hereditary because my jokes get me in trouble often as well. My dad was always there to calm my fears, whether it was a small spider that would surely eat me in the next minute, or whether it was the night before high school when he prayed with me, I knew my dad would always be by my side. His job as a doctor gave him the opportunity to help people's physical needs as well as their spiritual needs. I watched my dad's faith start from a life knowing about Christ to really a life walking step by step with Christ. My dad was also a loving guy. He loved my mom, he loved me and my three younger siblings, and he really loved life. He loved every single minute of life, even when he knew that his life here on earth would soon abruptly come to an end. My dad's suffering and pain lasted almost two years until he passed away on July 23rd of 2010. That day I cried more tears than I knew I had. My dad would no longer be here to catch me when I fell. He would not see my siblings grow up. He wouldn't see me graduate high school. He wouldn't be there to walk me down the aisle when I got married. And he wouldn't be there to say goodnight to me the next time I went to sleep. I was devastated. The day that my dad died, my family and I returned from the hospice center to a rainbow above our house, symbolizing God's promise for us all. That day, I knew, even though I was hurting, even though I was lost and confused and heartbroken, that God would be there to walk with me every step of the way. As I continue to walk through life without a father, I reflect on the 16 years that I had my dad with me by my side. Romans 5.3 says that there's glory in our sufferings because we know that our sufferings produces perseverance. This positive perseverance, this will and drive to move on each day, is what guides my life now that my dad's not here to walk with me. I know I will see my earthly father again. It's only a matter of when. My hope lies in my Savior, Jesus Christ, because I know that my Father in heaven, he is the light of the world. He is more awesome than I could ever imagine. My heavenly Father lifts me up. His perfect love drives out fear. He is there to strengthen me, and his love endures forever. He hears me cry, and he gave us a promise, a covenant between God and his people, that we would one day be with him in heaven. That hope is why I would persevere. I will not let go, I will not be shaken, because he who promises this hope is faithful. He promises to be a father to the fatherless, my father, and that is why I have hope.